stealing Power Rangers. No, David's in his house, though. He's uh, he is? He's going to notice. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Let's try to be sneaky. Where are you? I'm, like, in here. I'm, I'm treading the wall. I'm treading the wall. I got one. I'm running. You got, you got, <laughs> I got one. I'm running. Go, 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 go. 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 <laughs> oh, no. Was it the... Oh, oh, he has... It doesn't have... Oh, why would you do that? Why would you do that? What? Let's put it back. Let's put it back where we found it. Solomon, how dare you steal this? Hey, I didn't do anything. He doesn't see me. I'm right behind... Oh, he sees me. He sees me. I don't know what to do, man. <laughs> ah! He's, ah! Gonna <laughs> He's gonna shoot me! <laughs> I saw it. I saw Ow! him, like... This is Tinker's Construct, and we're going to show you this guy who's jumping up and down is going to show you how to build a uh, smell tree. So the first thing you need to make is what, Jason? Can you just go down the line over here? You can show us how to do it. Like, you can just boom, 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 and this is what you do. Well, so the first thing you need for 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 Tinker's is um, grout. Yeah. That okay. You then need to smelt, but in order to smelt yep. it, you need something to smelt it with. Okay. So we're going back to the Minecraft basics. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you can take this... wood and burn yeah. it with wood, and you get charcoal. Wait. Wait yeah. Before we even like, because we're using the furnace, can we yeah. tell the guys how to use a furnace or how to make a furnace? Oh. Uh, well, Boom. I would hope they'd know how to make a furnace. If you don't know how to make a furnace, furnace. This is how you make a furnace. Yeah. Furnace. Is it furnace or furnace? F U R N A C E. Firmus. Furnace. <laughs> <laughs> so you create grout by cool. one in the center, sand in the cardinal directions north, south, east, west, and then gravel fills it in to get you eight grout. That is so then you that. take the grout and the charcoal in another furnace or the same furnace and you burn mm. it and it creates seared brick. Seared brick, you put in a 4x4 four four to make uh, seared bricks. I didn't realize that it was one letter off. It's one letter off, yeah. <laughs> it's just a seared brick, seared brick. You're going to need a casting table, which is made right. like uh, like your pants in Minecraft. Wow, that is. That's like your pants. That's you pants. It's a pants, yeah. yeah. That's pants. Dude, we're learning things as we're doing so this. you make a crafting table or a... Mm -hmm. uh, casting table you need a uh, smeltery drain i'm going to make two and you'll see why later okay uh you want a smeltery controller you that's mm -hmm. definite you need that mm -hmm. and you need a seared tank to right. really even get it started um a casting bin or a casting basin okay and then i should just go ahead and make two of these um two faucets that you end up hooking up to your smeltery drain all right and now you should have everything for a basic smeltery. Like we said, a three by three up top, right? So this is yep. going to be your inner thing. So nine total. So then you don't need anything on the outside right here. Mm -hmm. But you do need it above, right? Okay. So you have built the basics, right? This, so this is the basics. Got it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're asking what's with the smeltery, um, the sear tank and the smeltery controller. Well, the tank holds the lava and the lava basically helps melt down your um, ores. Ores. And it mm -hmm. basically uh, tinkers allows it's an ore doubling mechanic. So you go get a block of iron Normally, if you smelt it in a furnace, like normal Minecraft, you get one piece of iron. This one, it smelts, and you get two pieces of iron. You'll see that in a later date. So then the controller is basically what allows you to do it. And you see how the fire is going? That means that you yep. made a, a compatible smeltery. 
So yep, yep. the moment I, let's say, break this corner, yeah, see, the flame goes away, and you can no longer access the smeltery drain. But let's say I put a drain there, it goes back. Yeah. So you're asking, huh. what does a drain do? Exactly what the name says. It drains. It's yeah. in iron for this example, and that's what you use a casting table for. And we'll get later on into exactly how to get the iron and stuff out. But you need these three components in order to get it out. You need the faucet that you saw us make, the drain, yep. and the casting the table. Casting table, okay. And essentially you can use the casting table to create single ingots or sword heads or weapons, portions to create the weapons together, which we'll get on in a later date as well. And then I created a second drain to show you because you have a casting basin. You still need a faucet and a drain like you do for the table, but the basin allows you to create blocks. So it still uses nine iron to create a block or nine what you would say are ingots to create a block just like you would in a crafting table in normal Minecraft, except this just basically takes the nine ingots you would make here, goes ahead and smelts it, and creates a block for you. Cool beans. And now let's also increase this. So, like, right now, this is, you know, if you look at the smeltery controller, you can put about nine items in there, right? So we'll, we'll, fig we'll talk about what kind of, you know, things you could put in there in order to smelt it later. But for right now... I just want to show you how to actually build this. Um, so building this, so what he's doing right now is he's adding another layer or increasing the tank size. Now that you know we increase the volume, if we go to the smeltery controller, you'll see that this has increased by you know. So right now it's what uh, nine, eighteen? No, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah. So there's eighteen slots now. <laughs> it doubled it. It doubled it. Okay, dang. It didn't, didn't know it doubled it. Yes. Cool. Okay, now that we have set up the smell tree, what do you do with this? Like, exactly how do you use it? How do you power it? Um, how do you use this casting table, the bin? You know, just, just normal stuff. And as a project, we'll probably make a toothpick. But a toothpick. I called it a toothpick because that's what I named it. <laughs> a, uh, a pick. You named I you called mine a toothpick. toothpick. I did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I named my silk touch pickaxe. Touch my silk. <laughs> touch my silk. Oh, I love it. So yeah, as you can see, you could really customize the you know the weapons and and the tools that you really use every single day in Minecraft. And that that that's what this is why this is one of the most more popular mods. But before we even get to that, we might need to even show you guys how to make the tables. Um, so there's another whole part to this and. Uh, We'll check it out next time. All right, now let's start recording. Sign off. <laughs> this is Jason. Peace out.